This week we're talking about acoustics and uh, the source filter theory. And I wanted to do um, a demonstration to talk about um, some of the parameters of uh, the acoustic signal. And um, also just sort of um, unpack this idea of the, the voice as the source of um, sound and how our oral tract <clears throat> um, changes and shapes it based on the, um, the length and the configuration, uh, which we perceive as um, speech sounds, as phonemes that we interpret as language. <clears throat> so, um, in, you know, typically, the, as we've talked about, the vocal folds um, uh, vibrate with this beautiful mucosal wave because the air is being um, blown through. Uh, because of the Bernoulli effect, they get pulled back together and we can adjust them. So I can increase my, um, uh, the amount of air being forced through, increase the subglottal pressure. And if I do, I get loud. Um, my voice has a, a fundamental frequency to it. Uh, right now I'm a little sick, so it's a little bit low uh, because they're a little bit swollen. Um, but I can also pull them really tightly and my voice will get even higher. Um, and that's because they're being pulled very taut and they get thinner. So <clears throat> one other thing I wanted to kind of show you to kind of drive this point home, I guess, is <clears throat> I wanted to show you a device. So this, um, if you've never seen one, uh, this is an electrolarynx. And when people uh, have cancer and their uh, larynx is removed, uh, they end up breathing through a stoma here and their mouth and their lungs are no longer coupled. Uh, and also they don't have vocal folds to vibrate and disturb uh, sound and create sound waves. <clears throat> So there's this. Uh, this is a device. It's battery operated and has a button and it has a piston. And when you press the button, it vibrates the piston at a certain rate. <clears throat> okay, so the rate at which it um, goes is its fundamental frequency. So that gives you uh, the fundamental frequency. Notice my uh, intonation pattern. I can't raise my voice at the end for a question because this fundamental frequency is static. So <clears throat> my voice sounds truly monotonous. Uh, however, this actually has a special little feature, a little button that can change the rate at which the piston moves so i can press it a little bit or i can press it a little bit harder and it goes a little bit uh, faster um so let's see if i can do something with that <laughs> so I can adjust it a little bit and change uh, the frequency, which you perceive as pitch. Um, so the frequency um, correlates to pitch. There's a little dial on the side. Um, and the nice thing about that is it changes the force at which the piston fires. Very soft. I can turn it way up here. So then you realize that would be uh, the force is getting uh, uh, amplified. And so that uh, the, the psychological correlate of that is that we perceive it as loudness. OK. And so this kind of shows us how our, our vocal folds 
all they're doing is really um, disturbing air uh, and s in complex ways, uh, but then we shape it with our oral tract, uh, with our articulators, uh, so that the sounds um, um, get shaped and sound different. And, and when we do them in different ways, we can create phonemes because they sound different and they're contrastive and we build them into words. Um, so that's a little bit about the source filter theory.